Hi everyone! Hi. How's it going? My name is Alvin. My name is Suzu. And welcome back to Japapino World. Today we're going to be doing part two of asking each other, is it real? School edition. Yay! I was going to go like this. Yeah. Yeah. So this time it's Suzu's turn mm -hmm. and she's going to be asking me about American high school life or American school life. Yes. Just to recap, last time I asked her questions about Japanese school life. Are they real? Are they not? Let's get started. Yes, let's go. Just a little bit of a background. I started school here in the States from fourth grade all the way to college. Mm -hmm. So, since I went to... I went to school in Japan up to high school, so I have no knowledge mm -hmm. except TV show. My first question is, is it real that American school lunch is that disgusting? Picture here. <laughs> like, this is unreal. Compared to Japanese lunches mm -hmm. and like food, yeah, it's probably that bad. I think some schools have it better. Like mm -hmm. apparently Texas has Subway and like onesies in their like in their but school. Still fast food. Yeah. <laughs> so food here is definitely gonna be fast food. When I was in elementary, middle school, mm -hmm. I brought lunch most of the time, even in high school. Okay. But when I did buy it, I would get salad. And then there was like pizza. There was like hamburgers, chicken nuggets. That's really Fries. bad. And then in high school oh there was this one thing that i really really like it was a popcorn chicken melt oh it was so good God, that's so bad yeah and then we had like pizza sticks cheese sticks okay pizza. enough of that that's a lot of junk food yeah no it's really just junk food wow but whenever you brought lunch to school what was it mine oh. was like bento box yeah. Like, you know, what you see in anime and whatnot. Yeah. What I would usually get is rice and like some rice. red hot dog. <laughs> rice. Yeah, rice and <laughs> red hot dog. Oh, and the, the Filipino hot dog. Yeah, Filipino hot that. dog. <laughs> and then sometimes I would get a sandwich from my parents. And yeah, basically that was what I would bring. Um, wow. I'm shocked. <laughs> That's why people here get bigger. Our kids in the future, mm, 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 I'm not gonna give Lunchables for school lunch. As long as you cook, I'm, <laughs> I'm okay with it. I will. Okay. But rice bowls and like kind of again, mm -hmm. nice ones. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So I saw in a lot of TV shows, movies and whatnot that you guys have plum. Even yeah. starting like middle school? Yes. And how is it like to have a dance culture? So my very first dance was mm -hmm. in middle school. Mm -hmm. What grade is that? I think that was in 8th grade. Some schools have it earlier too, I believe, mm -hmm. I don't know. But mine was 8th grade. I had to ask my girlfriend of that time to be like my date. You already have a girlfriend <laughs> when you were 8th grade? Yes. It's like a dance, everybody comes in. Mm -hmm. There wasn't a DJ, they just played some music, everybody was dancing. Yeah, it was just fun. Like, do you learn dance at school or you just like kind of know? We just know. I mean, I'm Filipino, so yeah. we're like either dancers, or instrument players, or like nurses. <laughs> do you know what grinding is? No, like move it. Like, like, so the guy's behind you and the girl is like in front and like the girl will be like going yeah, no, her no, butt. I know, I know. <laughs> So we were not allowed to do that in school, no. but like for like during like graduation parties, we would like be doing that. That was an eighth grade. Wow, that's crazy. But anyways, in high school, there was prom. <laughs> that's a little bit more different. You know, people could go crazy with their prom proposals. People really go wild. Yeah, I saw a lot of videos too. Yeah, my high school had a lot of white people mm -hmm. and they're affluent white people. Mm -hmm. So they were like really going at it. People wow. were like rolling up in like Rolls Royce and like <sighs> All that stuff. Uh, I mean, it's all rentals, babe. Don't worry about that. <laughs> One limo and two. <laughs> yeah, after prom, that's like a whole big thing. People go to like Six Flags. They would go to like Hershey Park. Oh, nice. Um, Splish Flash. I couldn't go because my mom didn't let me go, so I oh. had to stay. It's a really big thing, like, because you know, it's like once in your life kind of mm -hmm. thing. I remember the one good thing about my prom was they had an ice cream bar. And I was like, yes, ice cream. I wish I could have taken you to prom. Oh, thank you. I can't dance though. I know. You need to work on that. What are we gonna do for our first dance? It's like, uh, 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 like love us. Yeah. <laughs> Me and Alvin Smith and Ariella is pretty close, and we always talk about school. But mm -hmm. then I noticed that during elementary school, she didn't have art class and music class. Here in the States, education is not really that regarded in terms yeah. of budgeting from the government. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times schools have to make decisions on where they cut budget and most mm -hmm. of the times that's from art and music class. Yeah. Fortunately for me, 
I had both classes. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's great. They weren't like weekly classes. It's like mm. once every two weeks when the teacher is sick, once every month. So it's like a less priority. Yeah, it's not that prioritized, which is sad. You never know, you could have the next Mozart there, you know, <laughs> or something. When I heard about that, if you want your kids to learn arts or music, why don't you go to the class outside of school mm. and just like pay for it? No, it's basically <laughs> that. Again, it's not in the budget. So, mm -hmm. you know, if you want your kid to do something, you're gonna have to go outside to get it. Yeah. In Japan, we have music class, art class every single week, wow. I think. Yeah, mine was every single week at least, mm -hmm. at least one class. And you get to be a group with your friends and then like sing together. We had the chorus competition like every year. <laughs> Another thing is that the parents has to drive their kids to school and pick their kids up after school up until high school. Is that true and why so? That is definitely true. It depends on like certain situations. Mm -hmm. People can walk to school if they're really close to it. Mm -hmm. But unlike Japan, this place is not that safe. People can get abducted. Mm -hmm. There's not a lot of CCTVs around. And I think the culture of looking out for the kids is not like really that thing here. Like you could get kidnapped in front of people and like they're like, oh shit, what happened? Mm -hmm. They'll probably record it before they help you. For me, I was I was driven to school up until high school. No, during like the first few years of high school, then I took the bus by myself. Mm -hmm. And it also depends if you're a guy and a girl, right? Mm. So if you're a guy, mm -hmm. your parents are a little bit more okay with you taking the bus or going to school by yourself. But if you're mm -hmm. a girl, then I think parents are a little bit more protective here. Mm -hmm. But it's not that unusual for kids to be picked up, dropped off up until like they're in college. No. So it is real. Yeah, it's real. Mm -hmm. Not everyone has access to public transportation as well. Mm -hmm. That's one I really wish that New York has is like a really good train <laughs> system. The kids can't walk or they don't want to pay for a school bus or a cheese bus. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing. Why not, right? If you if you get picked up by your parents rather than waking up earlier <laughs> and like taking longer to go back home, why not? You know? Yeah, but parents, it's gonna be a lot of work. You yeah. know. I could already tell Susie's eyes. She's like, that's gonna be your job. I know. It's gonna be his job, obviously. Uh, do you have anything else for me? <laughs> no. That's it? Actually, that's it. Okay. Those were all my questions. Mm, okay, thank you. Well, you're welcome, and thank you for answering the questions. No problem. It's really, really hot now. I'm about to sweat. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. If you guys have more questions that you'd like to ask Alvin, is this real? please let us know. And as usual, please like. <laughs> and subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>